It's the very first home game of the season for the UCF Knights as they get ready to take on the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats. Hello, everybody. I'm Chip Fontanazza with Pat O'Hara as we look ahead to this game. And, Pat, this is week four, but it seems like it's been longer than four weeks for this first home game for UCF. It's been unique. I mean, the trip to Ireland, and then a bye week, and then coming out and going to SEC territory at Missouri. Uh, it's been a challenging couple, three weeks. And when you look at this team against Bethune-Cookman, people say, well, you know, it's an FCS team, but you look at the numbers, are 2-0 coming in. And in the last four years, they've won at least a share of the conference championship three times. They're used to winning. They're very well coached. They've won the MEAC here last couple years. Listen, week one, they beat an FBS team, an FIU, and soundly, they're playing excellent defense, top five in all of FCS. And on offense, quarterback Quentin Williams has not thrown an interception, taking care of the ball. And actually going to our offense with Justin Holman as the quarterback. Coach O'Leary made a uh, – sounded very complimentary for Justin Holman in his press conferences. We basically saying he saw him grow up in the last game. He did. I thought he did a lot of good things, especially in the first half. There were some things that weren't there where he didn't force the ball in. He tucked the ball down, got what he could, rushing the football. He managed the offense well. A couple third downs he converted. Uh, I thought he did an excellent job. we got to protect him better in the second half there. Uh, that's something that UCF is working on. And defensively, one thing Coach O'Leary talked about also in his press conference was getting more pressure on the quarterback and what is it that the defense has to do to do that and to be more effective. Well, a lot more bodies were flowing through the, the lineup last week, rotating in and out, trying to find uh, that, that solid four that's going to get some pressure on the defense. I thought Thomas Niles done a good job getting some pressure, but uh, obviously that's got to step up. And you know Coach O'Leary is a defensive-minded guy. And now talking to the players and talking to the coaches this week, as we mentioned before, it is the first home game, but you know, it seems like there's a lot more energy around this team. They finally get to play in Bryce House Network Stadium. What's that like to a player when you're on the road to start the season and it's really like week four that you play your first home game? It seems like a long time ago that we're at home. I think the excitement's there. I think it's neat. You got a kind of a, a rival coming from Daytona Beach and Bethune, a good football team, an excellent challenge. Uh, but being at home and getting the fans out there, more importantly, is going to be excellent. And kickoff for the game on Saturday is set for 6 p.m. And you can hear the call with Mark Daniels and Pat O'Hara in the booth on the UCF IMG Sports Network. For Pat O'Hara, I'm Chip Fontanaza. Fans, don't forget you can follow the Knights on social media.